Yo, I just peeled myself out of bed. It's like almost two o'clock in the morning to make this night video for you. Um, I'm in a st my storage closet so I don't wake up my wife and I can't go outside because my voice carries and I don't want to wake anybody up. But listen, my green industry brothers on these Facebook groups, I hear these guys say things that <laughs> I've gone through in my business and I think I've been able to quantify it in a way that makes sense but I have a warning for you <sighs> so this could be dangerous the moment that you wake up and you evolve in your landscaping business so you're running a service business a service based business right and you have to run it with a servant's heart because you're in a service business and it's taking you listen to everything I want to say because if you watch what I'm going to talk about I promise you and but I'm warning you maybe I shouldn't say this because sometimes I'm not saying you but almost ignorance is bliss your naivety is bliss and it makes you work really hard for years and generate a lot of success Here's what I'm saying, and I've made a lot of videos about this. I'll put, it, I'll put it in the comments below, know your worth, okay? You can watch these other videos. They're kind of funny, too. But So there's a guy in um, a Facebook group saying, from the second he wakes up to the second he's going to bed, he's answering the phone calls, texts, emails, taking care of customers nonstop. He's totally drained, and he's put, posted some screenshots in these groups, if you've been on them, of customers haggling and talking them down been the customer for years and now he's got to raise the price to run a legitimate business and the customer's like well you used to charge this uh and they'll fire the, the landscaper like you dude i've been doing landscaping for you for four five six years and i have to raise the price and, and you're haggling me and firing me and so these landscapers get so upset and emotional emotionally hijacked and disrespected by it and and in the comments all the landscapers are like oh i wouldn't put up with that or now it's time to hire a receptionist so you don't have to talk to the customers anymore and it's heartbreaking when you've been doing work for people i mean you built this business from nothing and after you know i don't know how long you've been in the business let me know in the comments below what i'm about to say is powerful You've been in this business for years, and you know it might be five years has gone by, blood, sweat, and tears, and these customers that are your favorite. I'm gonna, I have a good ending to this. Trust me, it's really good. And you, 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 you know the names of your customers' dog, and these they live in big houses and they drive BMWs and have vacation homes, and and after five years. You know, these are the customers that you, you drive far and you, you think that they actually care about you. And some of them actually do. But you wake up in a cold sweat, almost like if you've been like slapped out of a hypnosis. You wake up one day, whether like you actually wake up and you wake up to the fact that, oh, my God, I've been doing this for three, four, five years like this. I deserve to have a nice life, too. I'm pulling up in a truck with the rust on the fenders, still living in the same crummy apartment after four and a half years to these big ass houses and BMWs. Wait a second. What am I doing? I deserve good stuff too. And you do or you don't. But here's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you're to, in the customer's eyes. And I, no, trust me, some of them, not all of them. You're a nobody. You're, you're nobody. You think, cause so here's that misidentification. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Listen to me. You have a misidentification that actually helps you because it makes you go work your tail off to grow your business. And some people never pop out of this reality and pop into another paradigm where they grow. Like your mindset gets fixed and you get trapped in a paradigm where years go by and you don't realize this thing I'm about to tell you. One day you wake up and say, I deserve more, and then you start raising all the prices. You develop a plan. I'm going to raise the prices on all the customers, new customers, old customers, current customers. I don't care. I have to make more money so I can hire legitimate employees and get, and get in, and upgrade my lifestyle and finally get on with my life and grow my business so I can afford to grow my... All this stuff comes to you. You have this... Then, now I said, some of your customers really do love you, right? 
but most of them don't. You're just the landscaper, the window cleaning guy, the lawn care guy. And you start raising your prices, they start bucking you and they start firing you. They start dropping like flies. Now, not all of them. There's a mathematical equation that says if you raise the price a certain amount, you only lose 10% of your customers. You end up making more money doing less work. It's all true. I've raised my prices again and again and again and again. I have an abundant little landscape business now that makes me exactly like it's fun. It's a game to me now, right? But I had to go through hell just to get there or here, right? But what I'm seeing is your customers start firing you when you need the money the most when you can't afford it the most and now you're actually actually heartbroken because you're like wait a second this customer is bucking me over you know a five dollar lawn increase or maybe 15 buck in increase on the price of mulch or, or maybe you got to raise their prices 10 15 percent right they're firing you after you've been, you've been, you've, you've ran out there on Sundays, you've missed dinners with your wife and family to make them happy, right? You ran across the street when their dog ran out in the street and brought their dog back so to get by a car. You actually cared about these people. You were texting them while they were on vacation, showing them the after of how beautiful you made their property. You sent the invoice properly. You you cared so much and you had so much. You had an attitude of gratitude and a servant's heart. And now you need to raise, raise the price and they're firing you. So they can go find the next cheap chuck in a truck. Because that's all. I'm trying not to cuss here. Because <laughs> that's all how you ever worded them. The truth comes out. Not all customers, but some. Some of them really love you. Now, here's what I'm saying. So this happens again and again and again. And what happens is you need to develop a thick skin. Now, like this guy posted in the Facebook group, when, when a whole nother one, two, three, four years of this stuff is going on, and now you've, you've, you feel like you've paid your dues, you've worked your guts out, you have the experience and the knowledge, you can do five-star work, you, you know how to take care of customers, and you know how to do a great job, and you have a couple employees, you go from Chuck in a truck to Possibility Pete, all right, the next is Abundant Anthony, we've created all this, Possibility Pete, and you're out there working your tail off, and you're, you're taking on bigger jobs, and you're doing it, but still you have customers haggling you, trying to talk you down, and they're talking to you like you're not a person, like you're like an object, that it's, it's a weird, and then you can actually lose faith in humanity and get to the point where you are almost losing respect for the public and you can't like, but don't do that. Don't let yourself go there. That's a dangerous place to go. Don't let yourself lose respect for people. It's a great honor, honor, and have be humble and have humility, and and it's a beautiful thing to be able to to go on someone's property and serve them and to keep a servant's heart, right? So you have to emotionally detach and see it as a numbers game, and just calmly, like Wu Wei, no emotion. Don't allow yourself to be uh, emotionally hijacked. Deal with customers a lot. And if you can't do it, you need to get stop answering the phones and hire a receptionist or an office manager immediately. Pay for them because you will destroy your own business. You'll sabotage your business by being an asshole to customers and you won't even be able to help it. I myself have become so traumatized in the past from this crap that I, anything that even resembled an energy sucker because there's people and customers and things that give you energy and there's things that suck your energy and if in, in any customer I would talk to I'm immediately sense my guard is up so high at times that I'm immediately trying to disqualify them if they even resemble an energy sucker got no time for energy suckers garbage in garbage out that means if you say yes to something you don't even want to do you're gonna have problems the whole that's it's just gonna it's gonna like like the whack-a-mole game it's like so don't even mess with customers like that right but here's where like i said earlier you pop out of this entire paradigm and it messes up your whole shit <laughs> but this is where you move into abundant anthony you got chuck in a truck possibility pete abundant anthony i don't have time to go through uh, all of that but here's what happens when you wake up to the fact that and this is disheartening it'll mess you up oh my god you realize that almost all, not all, but almost all of those customers that you cared about that whole time, and you should, never even cared about you at all. 
you were just the landscaper or the lawn care guy. Full stop. It was all in your head. All the blood, sweat, and tears and caring. Now you have to care. You have to have a servant's heart. But not to the point where it destroys your health, your sanity, your family life. Because my friend Joshua Latimer said, no um, amount of success in the world can compensate for failure in the home. And I'm going to say, God loves you. Your family loves you. Your friends love you. You're incalculably invaluable. You were unlimited, bottomless treasure valuable. But in a service business, it ain't about you, sucker. It ain't even about you at all. Sure, you got to be nice and happy and friendly and really care for real. When you're taking care of customers, you're building relationships. And at some point, the most successful people are just building relationships. And on the works, getting down at the, on the back end, that's abundant Anthony, right? But you, I believe you have to have this dip where you go through this heartbreaking realization that it never was about you in the first place. It's just like a commodity. They just want their lawn cut, their windows clean. They want their shit fertilized. They want their grass cut. They want their landscaping done. That's all. They don't even care about you. They never did. They just want their stuff done. So when you make it all about you and wait a second, I deserve more. You become, you start shaking your fist. You're not only in dishonor, you're in double dishonor because you signed up in an agreement to just do their landscaping for a certain price. And now you're getting upset and shaking your fist and having a bad attitude. You're in double dishonor because that's not how this works. You just made the misidentification your identity. You have an identification, which is fine because it makes you work really hard, right? It's, it's kind of a lie, but it's good for you. You have a misidentification of thinking that it's all about you and you deserve more. And wait a second, I deserve to make more money so I can grow my business and upgrade my lifestyle. And all these people live in these nice houses. What about me? I, and you could become vindictive, like in, in your energy. I don't know, really know, not actually vindictive, but just like, like it's more, it becomes transactional to you. It becomes about what can you get? Like you, as soon as you're, you're walking to, on the phone with the customer or walking the property, you're immediately thinking about how much money you can make. Like I went through a little phase of that and it was not healthy because my heart left my business for a little time because I was so angry because I wasn't making the money that I didn't want to make. And I got to the point where I was like, I don't care. I'll, you know, I always did a good job and I always took care of my customers, right? And I always made sure, but my energy was off and I didn't like the way it made me feel. That wasn't me. That wasn't Keith. Keith loves his landscaping business. Keith loves taking care of customers. Keith loves God, Keith. And I didn't like when I got so angry at my landscaping business that I started taking it out on myself, which started me having a bad attitude towards my customers and realizing like, why the hell is my closing rate going down and I'm not selling a lot of jobs. I'm good at sales. I've done, sold thousands of jobs. It was because I had a bad attitude and I didn't even realize it. So then who, not how? Maybe you're growing your business to abundant Anthony and you have to have a salesman or maybe you just got to get off the damn phone and just do sales, right? If you're doing too many things, you're going to get burned out. And if your energy gets sucked too much and there's not enough energy left for you to feel happy anymore, it's going to burn you out. And then you're not going to be, you're going to, you're not, you're going to hate your business. But I believe that all those are important lessons to learn. Lessons, a lesson is repeated until a lesson is learned until you finally get to the point where you draw your line in the sand and you say, that's it. We only do the best work for the best prices. I'm not going to take on work anymore that makes me miserable. I only do stuff that gives me energy, not stuff that sucks me, sucks my energy. I'm doing stuff that makes me happy, not stuff that makes me miserable. And you start really putting some systems and frameworks and things into your business so you can go from truck in a truck to possibility Pete. And then now you can evolve into abundant Anthony. And that's when the customers start showing up that are the really good clients who stick around when you raise the prices. They actually care about you for real and they want to see you successful. And they, they think it's cool that you're driving a brand new truck. And they, and, they, and they appreciate you. And those customers start showing up when you grow inside because you get what you put out. That's my friend Stan Genetic, the dirt monkey said, whatever you put out is what you're going to get back. All right. So when you put out a confident energy of someone who has resolve, subconsciously and consciously, you've come to resolutions in your life and in your business. 
your voice changes. I can hear it in my voice right now. <laughs> and it doesn't come without a lot of pain and suffering. Um, and I'm nowhere near where I want to be at. Where are you at? How long have you been in your business? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, dog. All right. I, to, I gotta go get some sleep. I'm preparing to do a speech in Atlanta um, next week. And I'm excited, man. This entrepreneurial journey has been a dream come true. This YouTube channel has been a dream come true. I want to let you know I care about you. I acknowledge you. I appreciate you. Um, I do get like hundreds of people messaging me, emailing, commenting on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If I don't respond, it doesn't mean that I haven't read it. It's just I have so many messages coming in. But I see you. And I will get back and respond to the comments or come to a live event. I would love to shake your hand. Um, but... I care about you. I care about your journey. And um, yeah. Oh, by the way, if I just created a free three video series, if you're new in the business or maybe even your first year and you want to learn how to get it started right, how to market your business and how to um, deal with a fully packed calendar of landscaping clients, how do you deal with that amount of stress? I created a video series. It's totally free. Go to keithkelfus.com slash landscaping series one word i'll put a link in the description below you can sign up and watch it it'll also put you on my email list or when my podcast episodes come out it'll it'll be like hey new podcast out and stuff like that you can listen to it and uh stay in touch hit the subscribe button i hope that served you my friend develop thick skin and have a servant's heart